like super grand plans this morning to film some videos but then I woke up and it was super duper duper gloomy out and it's snowing right now and I am so annoyed by it the lighting is like really weird right now so I don't know if I'm actually gonna get any filming done but nothing is really going on today I have work today at 11 30 until 3 15 and then I have to pick my mom up from work at 6 30 and then we're probably gonna go out and have dinner or something so y'all can come along for that but most of the day is just gonna be me working so you can't come along for that but you know I'll see you afterwards what are we doing we're going to take me to work mm -hmm. the car. yeah and then I'm gonna drive home and then go to work and then I have to pick her up at 6 30 after I buy Taylor Swift tickets hopefully <laughs> if I can get that really fine really fine it's gonna be like fifty million dollars to Probably. sit in the like nosebleeds. Yeah. yeah, but we're going for it. <laughs> yeah, sit on oh, the rail stand. <laughs> it's fine as long as I'm in the bathroom. As long as they have like a video. As long as I can hear it. Exactly. We good. I still, I don't like the concept of like I get it, but I don't like the concept. I, the I, VIP thing. I don't like it. Yeah, it's stupid. Because, like to say that you get a boost for the more merchandise you buy, it just it just sounds shady to me. But Taylor is worth it. But it just to say if you buy more merchandise you get a better chance that just I don't know because I mean some of these people don't have that kind of and maybe some parents will spend the world for their kids for Taylor tickets I, I, don't know. I don't know I just it just kind of rubs me the wrong way but I mean granted if you get tickets then I probably won't feel that bad <laughs> I just, just want to see Taylor again it just feels shady to me I saw her in her red tour and then I was supposed to go to the 1989 tour and I had to go to basketball. Yeah, basketball and you had to sell the tickets to Chelsea yeah and I was right. so upset so I better get to see her again or we show up shit um we don't have any food in the house so no I did not pack a lunch I packed snacks oh. I have peanuts what, what do you classify food to take with you to work um like something that I can actually eat like a sandwich or something we could have made a sandwich though with what we don't have any like meat we don't have any cheese we <laughs> don't have meat because when I buy meat, it doesn't get eaten and I throw it away. Okay, because so who's buy... not here? So, this girl. So I am just throwing food away on a regular basis. Okay, well, I'm not here, so you can't blame me on that. I'm in Toronto. How much meat do you have in Toronto? Yeah, I have condiments. Yeah, no comeback. That's what I thought. You can make peanut butter too. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, well, we don't have bread. It's frozen. It's it not. It is in the bread box. You're gonna look at that and you're gonna go, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Mom. really not gonna do that. I'm, so I'm gonna forget about this conversation so as soon as it happens. <laughs> you are sorry. So right. No, no. Okay, I will point it out. To you when you get home and you get you're not gonna remember to point it out to me. <laughs> you're not going to remember. And you're gonna say, I'm so sorry, Mom. Look, you right here. are not going to remember to I'm do that. Okay. So gonna write okay, it down I'm gonna, we're gonna check back and uh, see if Mom remembers. She won't. I'm now done work. Yay! And now I'm gonna make some coffee and probably some food because your girl is starving even though we don't have any food. You don't believe me? Let me show you. We have um, condiments, creamer, uh, lots lots of condiments. Um, yep, we got some hummus but nothing to dip it in. So um... I'm a starving individual. We're going shopping on Sunday for groceries like we always do so like I'm not actually starving, but like, we have no food in this house. After I get some food and make some coffee, I'm probably going to film, maybe? I have until 6.30 to go pick up my mom, and it's 3.30 right now. So, we got some time. So, we're gonna be productive. Okay. I mean, like, I probably should study, but your girl doesn't want to do that, so. <laughs> it is now 4.55, and I'm just patiently awaiting my Taylor Swift code because your girl just needs her Taylor Swift tickets but I feel like because my boost wasn't like amazing I'm probably gonna be like last and so I'm probably not gonna get a ticket but your girl can hope I already have all like my banking information and stuff in the ticket master hopefully I can just pick my uh, nosebleed seats and uh, pay right away so that I can have my damn tickets because if I don't get these tickets I'm gonna be real upset like 
I might come back crying. We'll see. I'll update you guys very shortly. Just a little update for you all. Um, it's now 5.30 and your girl's still waiting for her code to buy her dang tickets. And, um, I'm panicking because, like, it's only half an hour and, like, I need to go pick up my mom, but I need these damn tickets, so, like, mama's gonna have to wait. What she said was okay, she can wait, but, like, <gasps> Send me my damn code, Taylor Swift. Send me my code. 5.40 and still no code. Just take my money, Taylor. Like, I'm offering you my money and you won't take it. Send me my code, man. Send me my dang code. They literally sent my code, like, one minute before six, but I'm going to see Taylor. I'm so excited. I mean, like, they're complete nosebleed seats, but, like, I'm gonna be in the same room as her again and I'm so excited. Okay, I have to go pick up my mom now because I'm late. We hit the mother load. Hello. Oh. How do you feel being done work? I am glad I'm done work. I'm off tomorrow. Where okay. are we? Where are we? We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. This is her surprise. Normally Thursday night dinner, right? The point is, I get chicken wings. So I'm not chicken wings. Yes, they are. Yeah. Fine. I get breast of the chicken. In sauce, and it's delicious. They're boneless chicken wings, but they're not boneless because they're just chunks of chicken. Fine. That, that makes no sense. They're not boneless because they're... I'm sorry. They're not chicken wings because they're boneless. Fine. I get chicken breasts. You get chicken chunks. The point is, it's I get food and I'm chunks. happy. How do you feel about me going to see Taylor Swift? How do you feel about you going to go see Taylor Swift? I, I'm not going. <laughs> You're my only friend. <laughs> Ricardo is not annoying. That's not even a funny joke. He would be hilarious. He would hate me forever. It would be hilarious. Okay, but the point is, you're coming with me and we're going to have a grand old time. Will we have a day in Toronto? Yeah. What will we do in Toronto? The concert's at like 7 or 8. What are we going to do? Realistically, we're going to eat food. No, but what else are we going to do? I don't know. What are we going to do? What else do we do in Toronto? What do we do? Shop. At what? The Eden Center? No. I don't know. What? On Queen Street. Oh, thrift shopping. Oh. Yay. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. Shake your head. I'm excited. It's really cold. It's really cold in here. You want to know the trick to stop shivering? So, and then you stop. It's it's amazing. What are we doing? We're buying you food. Yeah, because our fridge is empty. Apparently, you've all seen my fridge. <laughs> I have found the best creation in the entire world. A poop emoji plunger. How do you feel about this? <laughs> tired, tired. How can you have so much energy? I'm not. I'm going to bed. Because I have to get up early tomorrow to go write an exam that I don't care about. Good night. <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.